So it's been about three hours and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to check to see if our website works and then we're going to log into our website. To check to see if your website works, just go to yourwebsite.com or whatever your website name is. So let's just go to our website, getacardboard.com, and as we can see, it works. This is the default WordPress 2016 theme. It's not that much of a looker, um, but some web developers charge hundreds of dollars just to get here. So you've saved yourself some money in 20 to 30 minutes, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, so now we can see that our website works. What do we need to do next? So we can pull up uh, our tyler.com companion website and go to all of the lessons by clicking up here and we need to log into WordPress and that includes logging in, logging out, explaining what the dashboard is and explaining what the black bar on the top of your website is when you log in. All right, so to log in, we go to our website.com forward slash WP dash admin and why WP dash admin because WP stands for WordPress and the dash is like a space and admin because you're the administrator, you're the big boss, you're captain of your own ship, master of your destiny. All right, I'm just trying to get you to remember wp-admin. If you ever forget, then just go to my website and uh, you know see how to do it, forward slash wp-admin. All right, and we wanna log in because if we don't log in, then we can't change anything on our website. So. That's super important. So let's just copy our username and paste it and copy our password and paste it. I'm right clicking. If you're on a Mac and on a laptop, you can press control and click. All right, I think, yes, control and click. All right, then press log in. Now you're logged into the back end of the website where you can make all your website changes. And the back end of a WordPress website is called a dashboard. So all of this is your dashboard. All right, so once we do that, we can actually go and visit our site again by clicking on this. And now we see a black bar up here. This doesn't show for anyone else except for you. So once we, so we're in here and uh, it shows that we're logged in by this black bar and we can always log out by hovering over here and pressing log out. Then we can go to our website again and this is how regular users will see our website. So we're gonna go to ourwebsite.com again, forward slash wp-admin. I'm gonna keep on repeating it until you get it. Um, and we're gonna log in one more time. So we're just gonna copy that paste it and copy this and paste this. All right, then press login. And again, you're logged in back into your dashboard. And that concludes logging into your website. Let's mark this as complete. And we could just mark it as complete right here. And we see that our progress jumps to 15. And this stuff is easy and it'll get faster as we go along. All right, so that is that.